it's Sam Mix Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. Carrying on with my Chinese themed projects for the Chinese New Year celebrations. Um, those of you that have not seen the videos this week or know or have watched my projects before, I live in China and we're celebrating Chinese New Year. So I thought I would bring to you some Chinese um, inspired projects. So this one here looks pretty straightforward from the front. This is um, the idea for this has come from a Chinese thread book. Um, and now I saw one of these in the museum last year and I put it down in my little book of kind of, um, you know, notes just to remind me of things. And then I researched it and I um, thought it was really lovely and it's made from fabric usually. Um, but I put it into YouTube and there's one girl that I found um, who specializes in origami tutorials called Oh gosh, I forgot the name. Um, I'll put a little thing up now um, and I'll share the link for her tutorial um, below as well. Um, and yeah, I just, I followed that. So this is not my idea, um, but I've shown you ways to use it. So this is a birthday card. So basically you just open it up. It's, it's um, got a slight little bind on it there, a quarter of an inch bind. Just open it up with the ribbon. And then inside you have this. And basically this is what makes this this thread box, so our thread book. So basically these here are little origami pockets and as you open it up, it opens up these little squares. Now I thought this would be nice to put tiny little cards in um, or you could put some, if you're giving this to another crafty friend, you could put some embellishments in there. Um, there's all kinds of little bits, even though it's small and it's flat, you have got room to put something with, with a little bit of height in it. And then again, this one here just opens up. So there's two little pockets there. And then this one here is the bigger pocket and that opens up like so. And I thought this would be nice to put a gift card in or a longer card um, for that person as well. And I've just finished it off there with a nice little sentiment. Um, may your day be filled with laugh, love and laughter. And I've got little embellishments, little flowers on here and so on. Now mine is slightly different to the tutorial because she makes an extra piece, which is this, which goes on here like so, okay? So you would have this one here with this little compartment. And remember, this is a thread book, so thread would go inside. So thread is obviously very flat. Um, and then this one goes on top. Now, if you look closely, it's not lined up very well. Some of the edges are a little bit ripped. And basically when this is, imagine that's stuck there, you lift this up and it's a twist close. So as that opens, and it gives you this other little compartment, again, for more thread. And then it just twists and folds flat like so. Now, I couldn't do it. And you can see now I'm all fingers and thumbs with it. I just couldn't get it to line up. I'd done a couple of them. I even tried it on a stronger card. And I just really wasn't happy with the, the way it turned out for me. Um, she shows it fine and hers look great, but I couldn't do it. So again, look at the tutorial for hers that I link below. And if you can master that bit there, then obviously stick them on top. But I've just stuck some decorative squares and put some little flowers on it. And I think it still looks great. So, and then it all does up. This is a little wood veneer on top, which I've heat embossed in enchanted um, embossing powder from Paper Mania and just put a little sentiment there as well. Okay, so to make this one that I'm gonna do, you are going to need a few bits and pieces here. So I've already done one of them because you'll be making two. So I've pre-done one there. And again, you can see once I've stuck down, I've got one more bit to stick down when it all comes together. Right, so your main, case which I am going to be changing slightly as well so this piece here is six by five and a half okay and scoring along the six inch side you want to score at two and seven eighths of an inch and three and one eighth of an inch okay so just down those two there two and seven eighths of an inch and three and one eighth of an inch and that will just give you a quarter of an inch bind Okay, so that's that piece. Then the piece that I've got here on top, this measures two and five eighths of an inch by five and a quarter. And that's to map the top of your envelope um, or you know, card base. Then you need two pieces of seven and a half by seven and a half. These will make these little pockets. So two pieces of them and then one piece of 
eight by eight, and this will do the pocket on this side here. Okay. It's all origami folding that I'm going to be showing you now, but this is this was easier. So then you need this piece here is two and a half by five and one eighths, and that is going inside here. Okay, so that piece will sit inside, and then another piece here is five by two and a half, and that's going to go on top like so, and then these here will go inside these two. So these measure two and a half inch squared. And then these ones here are for the top and these measure one and three quarters squared. Okay, so two of that size and they're gonna go on top. And then just some flowers, embellishments, sentiment there. I don't know who I'm gonna end up giving this one to, so I won't be doing these bits here. But again, just to give you an idea of what it will look like and some inspiration. You can see that I've got little embellishments as well. Okay, so done the scoring, because that was all you needed for the card base. So what you want to do now, first of all, is we're going to make um, this one here, okay? So you've got your piece of paper. You need paper as well. You don't want a thick card. It just won't work because it's origami. So just a nice paper. You're going to, first of all, just fold it in half. The key to origami is making sure that all your points and your sides and everything all line up, okay? So just spend time with this. And then you're going to fold it in half again on the other side, okay, I'm making sure all of our sides meet up. Okay, so now you should have a cross through the middle. Then grab each corner, so I have to do this bottom right first, and you're gonna bring it up and just meet it in the middle. And this is a standard kind of start to most origami projects. And again, bring that one in. Make sure you get really nice points and it's all joining up nicely and again like so the last one there okay so then you've got that then you're going to fold up one side so that this edge here meets the middle point here where these all meet so you're just going to fold it like so and again make sure that you've got a nice straight lines there meeting up on the side, rotate it, again fold it in half again and do that, okay, like so, and open it all up, okay so that's there the two we've just folded, rotate it and do the same on the other side, so again fold that one in, and Okay, open it all out again, like so. Then what you want to do is pull out these two here and fold this one back down again. And again, that one back down. Okay. Then what we want to do, bring it up and you'll have the triangle and then these two rectangles here. You want to fold up to the second rectangle, so this line here, just define that a bit more, okay? Then what we're going to do is on the side here of this, so you've got the triangle, this one, this one, this one here, the side that's next to that, you'll see you've got a triangle score line going across there. Can you just see mine, just make it out just there? You want to fold that down, and where you've got that, just put your finger on the bottom one and bring the box up. See what I'm doing there? I'm just bringing that across. And as you bring it up, you want to make sure it lines up nicely with that score line, like so. And again, this side here, if I fold that over, put my finger on the bottom part of the triangle and bring it up, and just burnish that a little bit more, making sure that that all meets up nicely. Okay, so now that's what we've got. Okay, and then bring that one piece over and down and you've got one edge of your box. So I'm gonna repeat that again on this side. So you've got the triangle and these two rectangles. Next to these rectangles on the outer side, you will have this score line, okay? So again, just kind of bend it over, put your finger on that one there 
and bring that up. And again, just kind of pull it across if you need to, to make sure that it all lines up nicely with the side. And again there, bring that over, put my finger on that one, bring that up. Okay, and now when I bring that side up, again, if you wanted to just make a little box, you could fold that right in and obviously stick the bottoms down and you've got a little box there. But with this one here, bring that one back up again, what we're going to do is fold this triangle over, okay, and then take the corner here and bring it in so it meets the corner there, okay, so I'm just bringing it across and again burnish that and again with this side, bring that one across, okay. Then just grab a little bit of tape or you could grab some wet glue, just put it across the whole of that side without ripping, there we go. I'm just filling that little square, oh, ripped it there, that's fine, you won't see it. Um, and then just take that off and just fold it back over again on itself. So you're just sealing that, and again, that one there. So now we've got another triangle. And then what you want to do is, now I will use some wet glue. It's just inside here, just put a little splodge. You don't need loads and just stick those two up as well. So just pop it on its side and you're just sticking that all together like so. Okay, so that's what you should have. Go to the opposite end just while that's just drying a little bit more and basically just pinch in the sides here and start to push this down, okay? Oh, the glue's going, that's all right, I can do it in a minute when it comes down. Just fold it down like so, and then with this side, bring that back up again now. Do the same on that side, so again, pinch that and you want it to come down. So you're basically making the whole thing flat, like so. Okay, just letting that make sure that's all nicely stuck down. So again, you can stick those bits down if you want, but we're going to be sticking that card on top anyway. But like I said, so all I've done is just pinched in that all the way down. And as I'm doing it, push it down. And it will naturally just fold halfway. And again, with that side there, just fold it down. So now we've just got this little flat little pocket. Like so, just like that. So with this one here, so this is that piece of one and three quarters squared. I'm just going to pop a couple of strips of double sided tape there and just finish that off on top and just give yourself a nice little even border just a little one there and there I have my two so you just need to repeat what I've done again so you've got those two there and then with your casing here just burnish both of those score lines so you've got that quarter of an inch I've already stuck, obviously, my mat on top there. Open it up. If you want, you could have them on this side. I'm going to put them again on the same side here. And you just want to stick them both down side by side. Before we stick it, we need to add our ribbon. So I've got a bit of ribbon here. So I'm just going to cut this in half for the minute, like so. And then I am going to just put this here and I'm also going to put wet glue over all of this as well so I'm going to put the wet glue on the back of these actually so just splodge it on the back there like so and then before I do that I need to just put the ribbon across there and then make sure it's obviously opening up the right way sit that one down like so and again pop that one in the middle there might have to move that one up a little bit 
A little bit, I'm just on the edge there. I could have got it in a little bit more. Never mind. What you could do with being under, there we go. Okay. So now you've got those two little pockets that will open up like so. So that one there, actually, I need to stick those two bits there because I forgot to do that on my one that I prepped. So I'll do that quickly now. So that's that stuck down. You'd already done that, so I just talked you through it. And then while that one's drying, these ones will go inside. So again, these are your two and a half by two and a half. I'm just going to put a little bit on there, just enough to stick it down. And then that will sit nicely inside, giving you a little border. And this just gives it a little bit of strength as well. So that's that one there. And it's just nice when you open it up. Like I said, a lovely little card here. These are, what did I say, two and a half by two and a half. So you could, um, sorry, I've done two and a half by two and a quarter. What did that be? Have I just given you the wrong measurements for those? Two and a half, no, two and a half by two and a half. I just wrote it wrong. wrong. So if you've done a two and a quarter inch square card base, you could do tiny little note cards to go inside there. That looked really cute. Um, so again, this one here, just splodge a bit in the middle. And open that one up. And then it just makes it visually nicer to look at. And that one still needs to dry a bit there. There you go. Okay, so that's that side done. So that's all coming together now. Okay, so grab your 8x8 piece and pick, a, pick any side along the bottom. What you want to do is just grab a pencil and you want to just put a little marker at two and five eighths of an inch. And again, do it at the top, two and five eighths of an inch. Okay. And grab your right hand side, bring it across and meet it up with those little markers that you've just done. Okay. And just burnish like so. Okay. And then just fold the other side so it meets with this new score line that you just formed, like so. All right, so you'll have these two score lines here, okay? Then what you want to do, so this one's folded over, you then want to bring it back on itself, okay? So it meets up with there, so now you've got one and two, and again with this side, fold it over again on that one that we already done, and fold it back again so it's half, so now you should have one, two, three, four score lines. Okay, so now what you want to do is just fold this piece all the way over again. And you want to bring down a corner and meet it up like so. And then bring down that one and join it. So you've got a nice little triangle. Again on the bottom, fold that one up and the other one like so. And then the whole piece fold back in half again. Okay, so I'll show you that again, this side. So you've got your, your half there. Bring it over. Bring that one down, forming a little triangle, and that one, so it forms a little point. And again, that one, and that one. Okay, and then bring that whole piece down. Okay, then open it up. As you open it up, this side will come up. When it does, push it back in and just burnish and score, and burnish, and score, sorry, just rub the bottom there so you're creating a score line, and then pinch the edges, and that forms the side of that box. So again, as I've brought that one up, this one's already starting to come up. So again, just bring it over, and just pinch so you're making the sides look nice. Then, Push these both down, and as you do, this all starts to come down. And just similar to how we've done the other ones, just fold the whole thing flat, like so. Then grab these two pieces here. The longer one is the one that's going inside. So I'll do that first. This was a two and a half by five and one eighth. Again, just put a bit of glue on the bottom. Open it up, and I'm just going to slide that inside again. It should give you a nice little border, like so. And then this one is going to go on top. Again, you have a nice little border. You just need to glue one side of it. So I'm going to just do the left-hand side of this, 
like so. Don't go right up to the middle because you don't want any glue to kind of go over the edges. Like so. Okay, so I've just done that, that half of it. Flip it over and that will now stick on here. So just sit the whole thing down so you get a nice border. Like so. And then we just need to put glue all on. Oh, I need to rub that out. I didn't realise that one was going to show. I'll rub that out later. And then on the bottom here. Cover it in glue. And again, as I always say, this glue dries nice and hard. So it uh, the, whole, the whole project ends up becoming really quite solid. And then grab your thread book. That's all ready. Get your other bit of ribbon. Again, put that in the middle just to kind of keep it the ribbon in place, like so. Okay, and then grab this half and you're going to sit that on top, making sure that you get a nice even border of the white coming through there. Stick that all down. Like so. And there you have it. So I'm not going to decorate any more because I don't know whether I might do it as a little thank you book. I might do it as a birthday, I'm not sure. But in terms of the initial decoration, I'm really pleased with that. If I just bring it up there, you can see. So now this one opens up perfect for, like I said, a gift card. Um, you could put a very, very um, thin... Just trying to think whether there's any nice little chocolate bars you can buy. There are some thin ones actually. I'll see if I can find any links because that would be nice in there. And then you've got these two as well, which again are just nice for cards. A little, you can put some little, like I said, little gifts, little embellishments and stuff in there. And then the whole thing will come together and it's got enough because of that little quarter inch bind so it all sits together nicely. And then just tie it up. I'm not going to pull it too tight because it's still setting there. Um, Trim off some of that excess, I don't need all of that. And there you have it. I've got a little mark here because I was playing around before, I just need to wipe that off. Um, but that's ready for me to decorate on the top. So that one is done. So there you have it. That is my Chinese origami thread book. Um, something very different. Um, and I just think it's really quite sweet. So I know who I'm giving this one to. And I'm gonna make some little matching cards just to sit inside. Um, and I think it's, yeah, it's just a different take and a, a nice card. So there you have it. So I hope you liked today's tutorial. Um, please hit the like button if you did and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye.